What's up guys? Biocraft PV here and today we're going to be reviewing Velocidrome. As I said in my liftoff review, we're going to be going through every single FPV simulator and seeing which one is right for you. So we're going to be going over the features and we're also going to be going over the um, things to change on Velocidrome to make it a better simulator. Um, so let's go ahead and stay tuned and take a look at Velocidrome. Alright guys, we're in Velocidrone, so I'm going to go ahead and go over the settings first, and then we're going to go ahead and go over the actual tracks and all those features. Um, so first of all, let's go ahead and look at the general settings. Uh, this is just what I have. Um, don't pay attention to my sound effects or anything like that, I just have it lower so you can hear my voice actually talk. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the controller setup really quick. Um, now one little problem I did have the controller settings is the throttle. Um, if you're having problems where you don't see these actual things spinning, um, just keep trying throttle and over and over again until you actually get it. And then maybe if you don't see it, try restarting the program because that's the biggest problem I had with this simulator was getting this throttle actually work. Um, but it actually does, everything else binds fine and you can set up all your little switches if you do, I don't bother using them. Um, and then this is the quad settings. We're going to go ahead and start with this first. This is something I like to go ahead and have you guys change uh, because I feel like the stock um, or the way that Velocidrome comes is almost unflyable. Um, so these are actually a copy of Mr. Seal's settings. 110% uh, all the way down here and then 115% from frame lift. And then camera angle, I think I left that. Camera angle view, camera angle is 25 degrees and then camera field of view at 115 degrees. Um, propeller power, I think, which is one of the biggest differences, 65%, and then middle throttle is a 1060. Quad weight, 148%, and then we're using the beta flight flight controller so we can change the PIDs and everything else on the actual uh, quad settings, uh, the other quad settings actually. Um, and then we have the screen settings here, just uh, just to let you know, if you are using like an older computer, you should probably go ahead and download the demo. And just make sure what settings work for you. And if it doesn't, then unfortunately you're not going to be able to use this because it is it does have some uh, intense graphics graphic, and it's not really um, I guess what's the word for it um, optimized yet fully. Um, so go ahead and just uh, check that out. And make sure that it actually works for your computer before you actually purchase the full product. And then we're going to go ahead and go to let's go ahead and start with the track editor. Let's go ahead and work way up. Um, so a track editor, you can go ahead and create a new track, you can import a track, or you can download a track off the internet. Um, creating a track, let's go ahead and just select this really quick. It's pretty much just a track editor. You can just pick you know, what you want to go ahead and do. Uh, you can zoom in with the keys here. Uh, you pick whatever you want to put, and there you go. You can make pretty much to your heart's content of whatever you want to do. Um, so let's back out of here. And then we have the single player mode. And these are going to be the list of quads that you have. Nothing really well known in the 2018 way, but you know, a few years ago some of these were really popular. So let me go ahead and go to my little bastard. That's the one I like to use the most. And these are all the little tracks you have, and you can do a race of each one as well. So you can do your freestyle, or you can do a race at the selected park or track. So I'm going to go ahead and pick, yeah, I think it's the industrial one is the one I like, I believe. And let's go ahead and load in here. But before we go and start, um, so this is where you can start and stop your races. Um, this is actually really useful because you can go ahead and start a race. And if you don't want to race anymore, you can start doing freestyle. And then this is just leaderboard stuff, time attack, stream some music. Um, these are the quad settings. So. Like I said before on the main page, um, if you don't like a certain setting, you can actually change it right here and it'll update automatically. You'll have to go to the back of the main menu and go back in and see if actually what you changed actually you liked, which is a really neat feature. And then this is just to change tracks right from the screen. And then this is the advanced drone. This is pretty much the beta flight PIDs and all that stuff. So you can go ahead and copy these PIDs. These are actually Mr. Steel's PIDs as well for this uh, little bastard uh, drone. And then these are my rates that I like to use. And uh, it actually flies really, really good with all those settings changed. I feel like it's a totally different simulator once you change it. Um, and this is help, and then you can go back to the main menu right there. So let me go ahead and start a race here. Just kind of show you what it's all about. Wow. 
and you have to follow those little little markers it shows you. Whoa. Yeah. I'm not good at this track at all. This is not the track I wanted. <laughs> but yeah. But you get the hint. I mean, you pretty much just go around the track. And a really neat thing you notice. It's very vertical. How the, how the uh, tracks are set up. So you're not only just going on the ground, flying around. We're also going vertically up in the air, going back down, going through these things. I think it's really neat how they incorporated that into the gameplay. Um, but if you wanted to go ahead and just stop racing, all you have to do is just click on this little thing. It stops the, the thing, and then you can just go around and you can freestyle. And unlike liftoff, you can go pretty far out there. So if I want to go hang out on these trees, well, it's not going to get break up, so maybe not that far. But you can, you know, kind of play around outside the actual main area, which is really cool. And there's actually some other tracks too, where there's actually like a forest outside. You can just go for it, like kind of like because I live around a lot of trees and fields and stuff, so it actually kind of simulates that me flying in that type of area. Um, so I'm going back out of here and kind of show you the multiplayer mode. So I'm going to use the same one I'm using. And let's see if anybody is actually online. It takes a little bit for it to load if anybody's actually here. So yeah. So let's go ahead and just jump in this guy here. And you just join session. And then they pretty much, if you either host or you don't host, you have like the choice of, you know, doing what you do. So if he wants to start a race, you can go and start the race. If he's just doing freestyle, you can just fly around. So this is a really nice other than a neat little track too to show off all like you can just practice doing dives for buildings. You can practice doing all types of sorts of things. Um, but it's, I really do think that this simulator is... Once you do change the settings, it is is amazing. Um, comparing it to Liftoff, it's, you know, it's really up to you. I mean, I feel like Liftoff has a lot of that multi-GP type of racing. Um, and this caters more to like, I don't know, it's kind of like fun fun type of racing where you're going up and down and left and right and you know it's just something different um so i mean if you haven't if you don't haven't checked out the boss drone i recommend you guys go ahead and check it out uh, i believe it's like 20 bucks and i'll leave a link down in the description of where to purchase it from and um if you guys have any questions for me uh just leave a comment below um but i think this should do it for the boss drone review um like i said like and subscribe and i really do appreciate you guys watching peace